So today we are going to do my top 10 favorite makeup items from the drugstore. I figured that this would be a really good video to do for those of you who are in need of much more budget-friendly recommendations for makeup. So I thought I would go ahead and do this, let you know what my favorites are and why, and yeah. So, anyway, if you guys want to see what my top 10 favorite drugstore products are, then please keep on watching. Now, because I don't know all of these prices off the top of my head, I will list them somewhere around the video. So, if you do decide that you want to go out and purchase these products to try for yourself, you'll know kind of exactly how much you would be spending on these products. The product that I'm going to start off with is probably, like, my all-time favorite foundation of life. It beats out all of the other high-end foundations that I've ever tried and most drugstore foundations that I have tried as well. And that is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I am in the shade 810 Classic Ivory. And this stuff says it has all-day flawless coverage, the lasting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and the blendability of a foundation. And it's shine-free. Um, it also has SPF 20 in it as well, which is really nice for those days when you're just out in the sun in a full face of makeup, like at the beach. Um, but I really do love this foundation. On my normal to dry skin, it lasts for up to 16 hours, I know for a fact. This also lasts for a good amount of time on oily skin. One of my best friends has quite oily skin, and she wears this foundation all the time. She loves it. It's also her favorite. So this is good for probably normal to oily skin, or if you have slightly dry skin, you could maybe get away with wearing this if you moisturized very well. But if you had very dry skin, I would not recommend this for you because it does cling to dry patches on the skin. So, but if you have kind of dry to oily skin, buy this, you will love it, it will last forever on your face. Then I have my favorite drugstore concealer, which is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I am in the shade Very Fair, or, well, actually I purchased the shade Very Fair because I love using this to highlight under my eyes. It really does wake up the eye area, and you can go from looking very tired to looking quite awake very quickly. I also feel like this has the coverage of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but it's not quite as heavy because it is much thinner than that concealer. Um, it says it has anti-fatigue effect and radiant glow. Um, does it say anything else? It says it is a full coverage concealer that visibly reawakens and illuminates under the eyes. So this is formulated for under your eyes. Um, this does crease if I don't set it, but most concealers do crease under my eyes if I don't set them. So I always have to set my under eye concealer, but if you like the MAC Pro Longwear but don't want to spend MAC Pro Longwear money, I would definitely recommend the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. So the third favorite product from the drugstore are a couple of highlighters. I am cheating and doing two. Um, but they're both equally my favorite highlighters from the drugstore. You know my all-time favorite highlighter is Mary Luminizer from The Balm. But really, for drugstore, I really couldn't pick between these two, so I'm going to show them both to you. The first one is this Revlon highlighting palette in the shade Rose Glow. This doubles as a blush for me because I am so fair. When I do highlight, I just try to stick in these top two shades here. But then I could swirl my whole brush in this and use it as a blush if I wanted a really kind of bronzy, pink, glowy cheek. And I do do that in the summer quite often. The next highlighter is a baked blush from Hard Candy called Honeymoon, and it is very, very light. It is too light for me to use as a blush, so I like using it as a highlighter. It is a very soft pale pink with some lavender shot through it and it just looks very natural and I like using this when I need a more kind of natural highlight rather than a full on highlight but this is also very good you can get this brand at Walmart so it is super inexpensive so then the next 
product I want to talk about are these Real Techniques brushes. These are drugstore brushes. You can get these at the drugstore section in Ulta, you can get them at Walmart, and now I believe you can also get them at Walgreens. Now, I do purchase all of my Real Techniques brushes from Ulta because they have the full range at Ulta's here in Atlanta, and I have not found a Walmart, Target, or a Walgreens that carries the full line of brushes, or any of the brushes for that matter, in my area. But um, anyway, so you can either purchase these brushes individually, which are going to run you about $5.99 to $9.99 per brush that way, or you can purchase them in kits, and you get an eye kit which comes with six brushes, you have this limited edition duo fiber brush kit that comes with these three brushes. Then you have the travel essential kit, which comes with three brushes. And then you have the like essential face kit that comes with four brushes. It comes with a very small kind of lip brush that is the same shape as this pointed foundation brush. But mine, for some reason, I don't know what happened, but the bristles pulled, like, completely out of it, so I had to toss it. It wasn't one of the brushes that I used very often anyway, but yeah. So I definitely recommend Real Techniques brushes. They are very budget-friendly brushes, and they are drugstore-priced brushes that could be sold at, like, professional brush prices. Now I know you can't just run out to like a Walmart or a Target or a Rite Aid and purchase BH Cosmetics products, but I did want to include these blushes in here because these are my favorite drugstore priced blushes that I own. And this is the BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette. And you get 10 different shades of blush in here ranging from very light to quite dark. These are super duper pigmented blushes. You get that dark red one there, and then you've got this pink one here, and then you've got kind of this orangey gold one here. Like, that's barely any pressure on these blushes, and they are super pigmented, and in here you get 10. This is ideal for travel, and you could really create your own blush color with this palette just by dipping some in here and then like some in this little purple one. This is just a great thing to have. It's great for travel because you don't need to bring a lot of blushes. It's very sturdy and it like clips shut so it's going to stay shut. And I think I only paid like 14 or 15 dollars for this blush. So that's like very inexpensive for all of these blushes. Um, BH Cosmetics always has sales going on on their website as well, so you can get their products for like 30-40% off all the time, so this comes out to be very inexpensive. So now to talk about some eyeshadows from the drugstore, and there are a lot of drugstore eyeshadows that really stand out, that are really good quality, but the one that really stands out the most is the Wet n Wild eyeshadows, especially for their price. I mean, let me swatch a couple of these. They are just so creamy and so pigmented. Like, look at that. That is ridiculous. And they are just beautiful. They blend super easy. And they're just great. And this is the Comfort Zone palette, by the way, which is only like $5, and you get eight different eyeshadows in here, and quite large pans of eyeshadow. And you can create so many looks with just this one little palette. And really, I only think this, like I said, is like five bucks or something like that. It's ridiculous. And like, this darker shade does not want to come off of my finger. It's ridiculous. So next we have a mascara, and it is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. Excuse my claw hand here. Um, but I love this mascara. The effect that this mascara gives really reminds me of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. But this mascara is only like $3 at Walgreens. And that is what the wand looks like. It's not a rubberized wand, so it's like a normal mascara wand, and it's super small. So it's really good at getting in there and getting those lower lashes or getting in to the inner corner and getting those little lashes in there. 
and it really separates and builds volume and lengthens and does all of that for three dollars and if you have a hard time finding Jordana products look by the beauty checkout counter it's normally in like a little tiny like section like right there. So this next product is the e.l.f. Lip Lock Pencil and this is basically a lip primer that is also anti-feathering and a lot of companies like higher end companies are coming out with a product exactly like this and this e.l.f. one works just like those do. So basically what you do with this is you would apply it to your lips before you would apply your lipstick or your lip liner or whatever you're going to apply and it's going to help hold all of that in place just like a lip liner would. I use this in the stead of a lip liner a lot because it's not going to dry my lips out like a lip liner and I don't feel like I need to put a crazy amount of lip balm on or something like that before I apply my lip product when I use this instead of a lip liner. Um, I do feel like it does help hold my lipstick in place. My lipstick doesn't feather, you know, like when you wear those kind of less inexpensive, um, slippy kind of feeling lipsticks. This kind of helps dry that out a little bit and hold those in place so they don't sneak into any of those fine lines you might have around your lips or um, just kind of end up slipping up and outside of your lip line or anything like that. So this is like $3 and it's a super great product. So now you knew this one was coming and it is the NYX Butter Glosses. This is my most favorite drugstore product. I own a serious amount of these and I want to own more. That's how much I like these. These are great to wear on their own. I do have this one on. This is the shade Creme Brulee and I have it over top of this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul right now. But these are great just to wear on their own. You can build them up to make them more opaque or you can just put on a very sheer light layer for just kind of a hint of color on the lips as well. And they just make my lips look so much better. Like they sit on top of the fine lines, like they fill in those fine lines on your lips and make your lips look better. If I have really chapped lips, I will reach for one of these and put it on because like I said, it's going to sit in those lines and fill in all those like cracks and stuff from chapped lips but since it's kind of like a lip butter it's also going to help to re-moisturize the lips and get rid of that chappedness as well so that's why i really like these i have so many colors and so many of these if you try anything out of this whole video try these these are at ulta they're at target they have a wider selection at ulta however but Try out the NYX Butter Glosses. You will fall in love with them because I love them, so you'll love them. So that does it for my top 10 drugstore products that I love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it kind of helps you guys maybe find some new things at the drugstore that you want to try out. I hope you guys will come back for the rest of my videos that I'm going to upload this month and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.